Hello, 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 and welcome to session zero of Into the Shadows Breach. Hi, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Oh my god, I am so excited. You know I'm all about that brand new campaign hype. You know what I'm saying? And this one, oh boy, this one's a bit of a doozy. We turn back to the land of Asmodia to see what the heck has happened over the past thousand years. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so first and foremost, before I unmute and say howdy howdy to everyone, there's a couple, there's a little bit of a, little bit of housekeeping we do. I, I see a lot of new people here. A little housekeeping we do before any session. Uh, first and foremost, <clears throat> due to the improv nature of roleplay, today's session may contain adult behavior, humor, and situations not suitable for all audiences. If you're feeling uncomfortable, feel free to step away until you are. Uh, all VODs are uploaded onto YouTube, youtube.com slash world of IO, where further warnings will be given if necessary. Uh, we are also a strict during our, um, during our D&D campaigns, uh, no backseating allowed, so no backseating please. As not disturb the flow of the game, please report any incorrect or missing rulings or mechanics to our Discord uh, rules lawyer channel, exclamation mark Discord. Uh, that goes for telling players actions they can do with their classes. Um, you know, to, if I miss a mechanic or if I do a misruling, uh, you're free to post all that over on rules lawyer channel. I check it out after every session, um, but the chat is not the place to do it because you'll just be screaming into the infinite shadowy void. So, without further ado, ah, exciting. Let's go ahead and say hello to our new players. Oh. Hello, everyone. Ah. Hello. 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 Hi, how hey are y'all doing today? Oh my God. Yeah. Hello. Wonderful, how are you? Howdy. Speak in one volume. Excellently. Hello, hello. Yeah, you turn me up, turn me down, do whatever you gotta do. Mm. That's the beauty of Discord. Oh my God. Uh, let me pull up some notes, cause, uh, ooh wee, we got a lot to go over today, and I'm very, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm nervous. To What's happening? You. Oh, I'm. It's a very exciting time to be alive. Mm -hmm. It's a very exciting time. Adrenaline to be, is pumping. Mm -hmm. Very exciting time to be alive in the, uh, in in essentially the the land of of shadow and devils. So, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. It's gonna it feels be like uh, home. It yeah, feels, I was gonna say. Just breathe it in. Yeah, it feels mm. good. What were you gonna say, Lobos? <clears throat> no, oh, no, no. Uh, that sounds like home to me as well. Yeah, <laughs> sounds sounds nice and cozy. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take us over to our <laughs> temporary session zero screen, uh, uh, where we got Discord reactions of all of your lovely faces that I got on mm. Twitter. So there it is. This is not obviously, this isn't gonna be what it looks like, but uh, chat needs to see some flashy graphics to know who's talking. They feel really comfortable when graphic light up and then graphic go mute. Flashy. You know? Yeah. Oh. I, got, I, got it. I wanna see what it looks like. Yeah. Flashy. Flashy. Yeah. Oh, flash. So bright. <laughs> yeah. <It's, laughs> chat also likes it, you know, when, when things are, uh, Things are very bright. Uh, we're currently on the infinite void of Foundry right now, and we'll uh, we'll get to there in a second. Uh, first, I would like to go ahead, and I meant to do this before I unmuted. I'm sorry, but I want to thank uh, Tom Bag for the logo um, of our title screen. Uh, Alex Rowe, who made a custom, beautiful theme yes. for us. Delightful to work with them. Uh, and a brand new artist. I want to make sure I get their name correct because my brain do be soft. Uh, <laughs> mushy brain. I Yay. do. I have a very mushy brain. <laughs> I <God>. said squishy. <laughs> I don't oh, like so mushy. You don't like mushy, but you like squishy. All right, noted. Well, squishy has a bell to it, right? Mushy is like mm. mashed yeah, potato. Mushy's Stays, you know. Mm. So, <laughs> oh, no. to its no. shape. <laughs> so if I describe an enemy as as mushy in a horror campaign, oh, you'll freak, no. you'll freak out. I you'll hope just be the like, enemy is dead already. Yeah, it's oh, very I mean, mushy. <laughs> very, very, very mushy. Oh my gosh, I I more prepared than this. Looking through list, looking through. There it is. Uh, Zephyrbug did the background art. Thank you, Zephyrbug. And yeah, what? What are you laughing about, Momo? I'm pointing at you. I'm pointing you out. Don't point at me. Everyone point at Momo. Everyone point at Momo. Point. Point at Momo. Yes. Oh my God. I'm pee. 
<laughs> Are you peeing? Wait, did you say you're peeing? <laughs> okay, don't point at Momo. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Don't point at Momo. Back up. Back it up. Back it up. Look, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't DM'd Momo in. God, it's been like eight months. What oh the? God. This is gonna well, be the whole campaign, isn't it? Oh, this yeah. is gonna be bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah, this, this, this is gonna be, gonna be bad. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Can we get a oh. Wii's counter? Oh, there's oh. one here. Is yeah. there a Wii's counter? No Wii's counter. There could be ah. though. I'm gonna let chat handle that though, because chat likes to count numbers. Uh, a snort counter for me, please. Yeah, uh, a s you said a snort mm. or a sn snort. Oh, okay. Snort. Snort. Yeah, snort. Yeah, snort. Snort is where you snort so loud you fart, which is very. Oh. I guess yeah. start one of those too. Yeah. Those, right? yeah. <laughs> Anything's we, we, possible. We, we, look, look, it's 2022. Anyone can snort nowadays. Okay, and just we gotta, we just I gotta get more. Yeah. yeah, we we gotta get comfortable with the snort. All right, everyone does it. Christ. <laughs> <Snort>. <laughs> All you right. just hope it stays, you know, there. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't evolve. All right. Oh my God. I think it's time for player introductions because we're not really going to oh top that, boy. are we? Yeah, we're not really going to top I that, are we? One snarts, one pees. It's a great time <laughs> to be playing d, d Let's go. Chat, don't say snartborn. Don't say snartborn. That's not acceptable. Uh. So, before we get into the the hype and the, the nitty gritty of things, I think chat wants to know who the heck all of you are with your <clears throat> lovely personalities. We'll stop, start from top to bottom. Uh, Lobos, feel free oh. to in introduce your, are you not ready? We can do bottom oh, to top. No, I'm, just, I'm, yeah. I'm the top. Yeah, I like it. I like in it. <laughs> interesting. Don't let it go to your head. Introduce, uh, introduce yourself. I don't know about that. You're free to talk about your character as much or as little or as none as mm -hmm, you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, tell the tell the chat what you're all about. Yes. Well, um, so we had we were told not to have too much ready today. Well, not yes. necessarily, but we yeah. didn't have to have too much ready. So Correct. I wanted to learn a bit more about everything that's going on before I defined. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have decided that I wanted to play a fighter mm -hmm. um, under the Battlemaster subclass, and I'm going to have a giant two-handed maul mm -hmm. which uh transforms into mm -hmm. a sword and shield combo mm -hmm. and uh brett has done a lovely job of creating some some mechanisms around that so that's exciting now i i um, appreciate the flattery but who the heck are you the chat wants to know like you as a person uh, as an me. individual oh. yeah Wait, this is about. Oh, okay. All right. It's about All both. Right, it's about both. You, yeah. Well, the screen says my name is Lobos Junior, and mm -hmm. I've streamed on Twitch for longer than too Give long, just too long. Give me like, a number. Give me a number. Okay. Uh, I think at this point, like thirteen years since Woo! well, since, since Justin TV days. But ah, uh, hot damn. Yeah, but nobody. I I remained in the shadows until I started playing some Dark Souls games, and then people were like, "What? Dark Souls?" That. And then it blew up. So. Um, okay. I've just been, I've kept doing that, but I love RPG stuff. I love roguelikes. I love uh, strategy games. I love all sorts of stuff. And uh, I love me some d and I played d and for about like seven years or so, kind of consistently. Mm -hmm. And um, surprisingly only one other fifth edition campaign, wow. but it was a three year long campaign. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Fingers crossed. And yeah, that's okay. about it for me, I think. Okay. Bloody! Why don't you introduce yourself to the to the chat, and you can you know introduce yourself, what you're all about, and uh, if you'd like to talk about your character, uh, as much as little or as none as you want. Hello, hi. Hello. Hello. I am Bloody Faster, and I have been streaming on Twitch. Uh, well, uh, for what six years now? So not as long as Lobos Junior. Uh, above me, but uh, yeah, a hefty amount, very uh, charity focused, I'd mm. say. Uh, I love fundraising via Twitch and uh, I love cosplaying. That's mm. also something that I do and I love. And as far as D&D is concerned, I've been a part of uh, a few campaigns. Uh, most were, you know, homebrews or like Pathfinder. I don't know if I've ever, I think, Probably my first one was, uh, you know, fifth edition, and mm -hmm. the other ones were just different things. But um, 
I enjoyed every one of them. And uh, for this campaign, I decided to play something different than what I normally go for, which is, you know, I, I normally go for a melee, really, you know, hardcore, let's go in, smash, Leroy Jenkins, everything mm -hmm. sort of thing. But this time, <laughs> I will be operating the, uh, you know, the shadows. I don't know actually if that's how it's gonna play out, but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna be playing a ranger, uh, subclass gloom stalker. Mm -hmm. Very, very exciting, and uh, she's gonna be using a very, very impressive weapon uh, called a rifle glaive, mm. which is literally a rifle and a glaive. No, I am no so way. excited. Yeah, a yes way. Yes way. I know. <laughs> I know you did not expect that, but yes. Yeah. That is exactly what's happening. Awesome. And I'm just so excited Me to too. play this character. I'm, uh, yes. I'm excited too. So thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Momo! Introduce, <laughs> feel free to introduce yourself as much as, uh -huh. little as you want and talk about your character uh -huh. you'll be playing as much as little as you want. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. Hello, uh, I'm Momo. I, uh, uh, I guess I'll follow suit. Uh, I've been streaming on Twitch uh, for probably around five to six years. Uh, I, I love it. Uh, <laughs> I love the people I have met. I love, uh, I love it all. Um, it's just, it's great. Everybody's great. Uh, I, um, uh, Push this mic closer to your face. What's that? Sorry. I uh. I... <laughs> Sh shine spotlight on Momo. Uh, continue. Okay, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> I, I I love to sing. I love to entertain. I like to make people feel feel better about their day. That's pretty much all. I uh, I like more things than that. That's just what I feel like. To... Um, I'm gonna be playing <laughs> a ro a swashbuckling rogue. Um, uh, um. I've never played a rogue before, uh, so this should be very exciting. Um, I will, uh, <laughs> did it, did you guys give your character names? I don't know if I should do that. Is you don't, you don't, you don't, you I'm can, gonna you, give mine. Yeah, I you, know her name, I haven't shared it yet, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can share as okay, much okay. or as little as you want. <laughs> yes, uh, I will be playing, uh, a uh, swashbuckler rogue, um, who essentially goes very, very fast. Um, gotta go, gotta go fast. And I will be using a type of mechanized uh, whip that uh, transforms with inertia. So that will be uh, what I will be doing. And uh, I, I don't have much else. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Momo. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't apologize. You're fine. You know what? Here's the here. No one's done it yet. I'm waiting for the the person to be like, "All right, introduce yourself." And they go, "Pass." And I go, "All right, we're moving on." <laughs> like, oh. I was like, "Really do at that point?" <laughs> Mysterious. Yeah, didn't did realize that was an option. No, yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, DM. I will not be talking today. All right. No, then. I don't think I will. <laughs> I don't think I will. Um, we have a fellow DM uh in the party as well, which is always nervous for me because. I, 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 there's always the fear of the, uh, um, actually, DM, I believe in page 236. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You don't strike me as somebody who would do that, but <laughs> Crown DM, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and the character you're going to be playing. Much Absolutely. As well as you want. Uh, hello. I'm the Crown DM, or I go by Crown or DM for short. Uh, I've only, I've not nearly as uh i don't have nearly as much tenure as everybody else here i've only been streaming for about eight months uh Ooh. but a fantastic eight months it's been um, forever dm effectively this is a great opportunity <laughs> to finally play it's been half That's a decade up. since That's i've gotten to play up. like an actual actual campaign so wow uh i'm playing a armor artificer uh much like momo it's a class i've never played before uh, and I wield what is called an ignition hammer. I'm gonna have a name for it because I'm incredibly pretentious like that. Absolutely. Uh, but it is a effectively a gun hammer. I'm going to be a uh, a heavy support operator. I'm gonna be buffing the party. I'm gonna be basically trying to draw attention and keep my people alive. So uh, yeah, right. that's me. 
Awesome, awesome. Uh, Naomi. Oh my God, I'm so happy Hello. to be DMing you again. Hello, Naomi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the intro, Naomi. Naomi. The sass. Nope. Uh, hi. Hello. I'm very happy to be back and in a world that we helped ruin last time we played in together. Woo! <laughs> ruin? What do you mean? We made it better. <laughs> Well, I mean, all right, I guess it depends on who you are in the world. Um, <laughs> hi, hello, summer wife. Hello, everybody. I, I've, I've been a streamer for seven years, but I don't even know if I can say seven years because so much of that has been time off due to various health issues, including COVID. Fuck COVID. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know what? So brave. Fuck COVID. That's just <laughs> so brave. <laughs> Finally, someone said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Like, I didn't know that we were going to have hot takes today yeah, on so the show. Brave, like, so brave. Oh, shit. Ooh. Okay, well, you know what? You know what? Mm. Fuck COVID. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. I decided I'll be brave, too. Thank you. Thank you for standing with me, buddy. You're the brave. During these trying times. I want to be Naomi. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sort of streamer. Um, I want to say full time, but no, I'm not sorry. at all. You're, you're perfectly fine. No. I've never heard the term sort of streamer before, but I like it. I like it. Uh, and I'm gonna be playing a fully melee class for the first time. I'm playing a rackling monk, a way of the drunken master. Let's go, I, rackling! I've decided on her name, but I don't know how I want to pronounce it. So, chat. Pronunciation one is Vezica. Pronunciation two is Vezica. Which one do you like Ooh. more, one or two? You're gonna Let leave you it up to chat? Yeah. But chat yes. like Vezica sounds like Vizica. very promising for, I don't oh, know. great. You told them know. one or two, and now they're losing their minds. Thanks, <laughs> Naomi. Uh, I don't chat know, I don't loves know. numbers. Chat <laughs> engagement, let's go. Actually, you probably don't even know what they're yeah, right? They're voting like, oh. for. Uh, for, no. for everyone who's, <laughs> for everyone who's oh, saying, what? Everyone who's saying three right now, you're really funny. I just wanted to let you know. Really okay. funny. Anyone who's saying 69, though, nice. Nice, nice. nice. There nice. it is. I hope we got some. There it is. Perfect. We did. We did. All right. <laughs> and and very, very basic premise, which isn't fully fleshed out yet, is she's about, you know, in her mid-30s, um, you know, for a rackling <laughs> that's halfway through her lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, Can you stop was, being so loud? Am like, I loud? Right, yeah, no, I mean, uh, you know, not like voice like, but what you just said. Like, yeah. I'm in my mid 30s and I don't, don't uh, appreciate that. Yeah, but you're not, you're not a raccoon, uh, buddy. There we go. I here am a. Uh, not a raccoon. Okay. Listen, oh, though. Fuck. Bloody uh, losing her shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty of time. <laughs> I haven't even peeked. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, all right, first of all, I'm, 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 I'm a, a few years away from 40, so I don't want to hear it from any of you guys, okay? All right, all right. Anyway. All right, all right. I'll just I'll, I'll be no, you're you're, you're good, she's a, Naomi. She's a rackling monk it, halfway through her lifetime, <laughs> and when she was a, a very young rackling, um, she was in a, a family of uh, smuggler racklings, and they would smuggle illegal foods and rare spices and stuff. And mm -hmm. she was a runt, and you know everything like that. And then there was a horrible accident at sea, and her whole family died. Tragic no. backstory, of course. No. I'm, I'm like, no. the music's like crescendoing right now at this horrible okay. backstory. And that's all you're you're gonna know for now. She just mm. that, that's that's it. Mm. Okay, oh my okay. gosh, I can't believe it. I hate that for her. That's tragic. Indeed, indeed. Did you All get right. an answer? I only just met her, but I would kill everyone in this room and in myself if anything was to happen to her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready to get some, get freaking height at the world that you're going to be playing in? Yes. Fuck yeah. I Where need is? everyone oh. to uh -huh. log into Foundry. And I'm going to go ahead and get drop another link because I'm pretty sure I didn't pin the last one, and I don't think anyone has a link currently. So here we go. I'm gonna, actually you guys all joined from before, so I'm gonna drop this in our in our private channel, and I'm gonna pin it. So feel free to- Secrets. Feel free to, to do that. Secrets. 
secrets. See, where is it? Oh, it's in the uh, it's in the uh, private uh, our private oh. channel, our text channel. Oh, I thought the pri the DM like the mm, pri yeah, the more private. Palm are in edge. Oh, uh, uh, huh? <laughs> oh, or what? edge? What? What was that? This is browser deliberation. Because yeah, <laughs> I know that. I, I don't know. I've had some issues with Chrome before. I don't. I'm know doing what... it in Chrome. It it popped up for me. I hear as noises. Long, as as yeah, yeah, you should. You're in the infinite void I'm, right now. This uh, is creepy. Uh, so yeah, this is all I want to show you is a black screen and be like nice. entire <laughs> theater of the mind. Uh, oh I would say Chrome if it is at its latest update, Momo. I'm scared. If I may, I I forgot the most important part of my my character introduction. Please. Everybody mentioned they're really cool weapons. I just wanted to say that I'm going to have a really cool stick. Mm -hmm. That is all. Yeah. It's I mean, so if cool. you think about it. Perfect. We all have really cool sticks. So, like, we're all matching. But, like, yeah. mine's just going to be, like, sure. just just a stick. But mine's going to be really cool, guys. <laughs> yeah, oh. but hers is going to be really cool. Nothing is just a stick in your hands, Naomi. It's hers is powered by trauma. What so is that right. supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, whatever you want it to. Tugs, collar. <laughs> Let's see. Is everyone on Wait yet? Wait a uh, minute. One, two, three. Four. Okay, thank Wait God everyone's on. We are at the late night campaign, technically, so you know. Oh boy. <laughs> you After can, hours. You can <laughs> say whatever the hell you want. <laughs> uh, anyways, <gasps> all right. Uh, so. There's so much power, you don't want to give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys like to uh, check out the region of. Uh, Southern Gate Breach in Asmodia. Yes. Why, yes. Please. Yes, you and. To see where you'd be adventuring. Yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Welcome. <clears throat> As it loads slowly. To Asmodia, specifically the region of Southern Gate Breach. Ooh. Ooh. Everyone can see, right? Yes. I see your ping. All right, cool, awesome. Spinning. And I drag oh. you over there. See the potato <laughs> fields. How do you do that? Uh, hold down mouse button and do a ping. Oh. How do I just <gasps> change my name? I don't want to be potatoes. I uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Know Once we change. have uh character seats assigned to us, then we'll be able to change our names. Oh yeah, you're Ooh. not. I, are, I, yeah, that's it. Are we don't you, exist. You don't exist right now, no. <gasps> you haven't made a Ooh. character, so yeah, you don't I, exist. <laughs> I already want to go to the Glomwield Fades because I just see a bunch of sepulchers there. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I want to go. I want to go there. It looks spooky. <laughs> I want to go there. So let's uh, <laughs> let's do a little bit of lore. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening here. I'm gonna crank up the the tunes a little bit to really get you in that. Ha mm -hmm. ha ha! We're in trouble, kind of vibe. Okay, so first oh of all, this is our first campaign, uh, phase three, that takes place in the Ark of Asmodia. Um, Asmodia has a bit of a dark past. The entire kingdom mostly wiped out over a thousand years ago. Uh, Prince Demetrius Asmodia, a member of the Asmodian royal family, made a pact with a powerful entity, a shadow named Deus, in a desperate attempt to gain power. Deus sealed within the Shadow Veil, along with the members of his fallen race, the Astari, were desperately seeking freedom and used the prince as a vessel to do so. Demetrius, a sadistic man, poisoned his own people under the guise of pollution from the advancements of technology. Asmodia was the first to explore kind of more like coal technology, um, which created a just a huge cloud of pollution when the when the planet was once whole. Um, but in secret, he was slowly poisoning his people <clears throat> before completing the final ritual that wiped out most of the kingdom's inhabitants. With that, a tear was formed, releasing the entities of shadow to possess the fallen, creating the devil race. Deus, rewarding the prince, um, allowed him to live by transforming Demetrius into his vessel to take on his new devil form. With the combination uh, complete, Asmodeus was born. A great battle took place in Asmodia as heroes of Io faced off against uh, Asmodeus and his lords of shadow. 
defeated by the destruction of his ruby-eyed scepter, Asmodeus and his devil armies retreated back to the Shadow Vale. However, the breach into the shadow still remains open to this day, and Ionians continue to keep the forces of shadow back to prevent a second war between devils and Io. Because of its high concentration of shadow, most technology created from the Deidic Veil struggles to work here, preventing shard ships and shard artillery from functioning in this area. Smaller shard tech still uh, works with modifications. However, the Sentinels continue to research ways to bring shard technology on a grander scale to turn the tides against the forces of shadow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sick. Thank you. Very, so, very sick. So, a little bit, of, little bit more lore. Uh, yeah, they, Momo and Naomi was the, uh, their previous characters were the founders of the Sentinels, actually. And they're doing some really cool stuff. So, <clears throat> since, uh, since, uh, and I've showed you guys maps of this, Io is essentially this shattered planet where arcs, the, the continents of this of this world are kind of like floating and hovering around the core uh, before its imminent destruction. Um, how do you people even get to Asmodeus? And shard technology, like shard ships that would fly over here, don't generally work because of the interference of all the shadow energy. Um, a shadow barge is able to float over to Asmodia across the arcs from either Kathos or Alabaster once a year. This altered shard tech is slow going, making the journey long and requiring almost a year of stored energy to take the journey again. So if you wish to leave Asmodia, there's a one way ticket out and it leaves once a year. If you wish to go to Asmodia, same thing. Once a year, once the shadow barge charges up, it's able to slow going, take you over Asmodia, but at that point in time, you are stuck for a year, and this is a nightmarish place to be stuck into. So the tech level here in Asmodia is definitely a lot lower than the rest of the arcs uh, because of the interference of the shadow energy. Technology has been created and manifested uh, by tapping into a, a, a new existence of power known as the Dietic Veil, allowing for this advancement in technology, but there is heavy interference here in Asmodia, making that uh, tech level just a little bit lower. So, <clears throat> so what do the Sentinels offer this group that you are you are with? Um, besides the fame and glory and heroism of being a shadow hunter, the Sentinels pay a considerable stipend to families of shadow hunters as well as retirement package for elder hunters. Sentinels, uh, Sentinel representatives, once a year negotiate with the Ionian Senate to pay uh, for this. While there is no objection, there has been recent concern of the increased cost the Sentinels continue to need with a risk of uh, some budget cuts uh, when it comes to, I know, bureaucratic nightmares. Yeah. So. God, it's so too like, real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be back in the Navy. Just take me out of here. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of real shit, unfortunately, and a lot of it, unfortunately, has to do with budget <laughs> concerns. <laughs> Because there is, like, Io essentially has become this, like, one, like, linked nation with one Senate that rules over the entire planet. So they're managing the budget right. of, like, all the different arcs to kind of keep the, the, the power and money flow going. And and even the Sentinels, the ones that are... Because it's been, like, a thousand years of not a devil threat. So what do you start doing? You're like, well, the Sentinels don't really need it. Like, we haven't seen a exactly. shadow invasion. Yeah, so that's, mm. that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. So, looks at M Momo and Naomi. Let's talk a little bit about the Sentinels and how they got here. What what they've been up to for the past thousand years. <clears throat> so, I did. Over absolutely <laughs> dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not, like, I'm I don't not know even, how to tell you this. I'm not I even going to entertain you're you. Dead. You are very dead. You are extra dead. I am so sorry. <laughs> My bones at least like feed some creatures or something. I mean, you could tell me how you died. I don't think you died in like a shitty way, but yeah, you are <laughs> definitely dead. <laughs> we died um, together. Okay, somewhere that's acceptable. <laughs> so <laughs> over a thousand years ago, an that's organization terrible. known as the Hunter's Guild of Atropa kept the monstrous population at bay by slaying these would-be predators. Funded by a mysterious individual known as the Gormon King, the Hunter's Guild was tasked in gathering the material of these creatures so as to expand the palate of this gluttonous individual. 
It would be discovered later by a small group of hunters that the Gormon King was an entity of shadow in disguise, using his power to release creatures haphazardly into the environment, only to send hunters to their death, killing these beasts to feed his unending hunger. Upon the Gormon King's defeat, these hunters, who would be known as the Euclidians, uh, would reform the Fallen Hunters Guild in an organization tasked with keeping the forces of Shadow at bay. Led by Valith, the new organization would be called the Sentinels. Assisting greatly in the War of Shadow, these newly found Sentinels would help stop the Shadow invasion. Afterwards, the Sentinels would relocate from Atropa to Asmodia, where they would continue to keep the Shadow's breach guarded, preventing a Shadow War, uh, a second War of Shadow. Not all of the original hunters would go. One would leave, roaming west in their own adventure, uh, while another would enter an ancient site known as the Spire of Euclid and eventually ascend to Dietikud. It is because of this that the Sentinels cast their allegiances to the goddess Io. So, <clears throat> my heart. We're, we're slowly, we're slowly zooming in. So we've talked about Io. We've talked about the history. We've talked about the organization uh, that you're a part of. Um, and uh, now we are here to this region, to the Southern Gate Breach. The reason why it's called the Southern Gate Breach is because you guys are right next to the freaking Shadows Breach. By ascending the Shadow Step, you can actually go over to the Breach and enter the Shadow Veil, uh, which would of course be certain death because forces of, you know, devils and evil and shadows uh, are definitely there uh, fighting for control. So. The Southern Gate Breach, a region south of the Shadows Breach. This ruined land is the least guarded of the Sentinels' influence, and desperate, uh, the Sentinels are looking for more capable Shadow Hunters. This region of land still has ancestors from those that survived Asmodia, but for the most part, keep to themselves. Native Asmodians are distrustful of people, with some wishing to not be protected by the Sentinels. It is uncertain if this is the influence of Shadow that warps the mind of these individuals, or the ignorance set in their ways from this wasteland they are a part of, but many dangers roam these lands. Uh, you all will be starting uh, your adventure and campaign in the city of Kolkirk, the most established city uh, within the entire region kind of like look around here. There's a couple of farms, a couple of scattered ruined settlements, uh, a lot of danger, but Kolkirk is where it is the most protected because this is the headquarters of the Sentinels. The city of Kolkirk is the head headquarters of the Sentinels in the Southern Gate Breach. Native Asmodians within Kolkirk have their sanity kept in check by the fortification of Kolkirk's walls. As with many Sentinel headquarters, Researchers here continue to expand upon shard text uses at Asmodia, as well as develop new farming techniques to keep the people fed. And that's where you get the potato Food. fields. Because <laughs> these people need to be fed. Potatoes. Uh, potatoes. Are these shadow potatoes that are growing? Uh, they are uh, tinted purple, that is correct. Because oh, yes. the, because the land itself, and not the not the not the tasty kind, not the tarot kind. Oh, it's oh. it's this, the potatoes taste like dirt, like no. black, full blown dirt. But um, it does provide you with the nutrition you need. Uh, the few um, animals that you're able to raise here in Colkirk uh, survive uh, on a diet of these potatoes, uh, but unfortunately have a very short lived life because of the malnutrition. Uh, but yeah. Food Probably is a lot food. of pigs. Yeah, food is food is food. So, and to keep the Sentinels and everyone else uh, fed, you do what you gotta do. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I'm looking through this. Uh, there is a church, the Kolkirk Church. Um, the Church of Kolkirk is to that of Hayo, the patron goddess of the Sentinels. It is Ooh. here the Sentinels train Shadow Hunter apprentices and where you'll be given, uh, where, you, where the, your campaign will begin. So, the campaign objective and what's been going on. You all have completed your training as capable hunters and must now prove yourself before earning your full rank and commission. 
Each of you have your own reasons to become Shadow Hunters, and now is your time to earn that rank. As with all full-fledged hunters, a group of five apprentices must journey forth to Shadow's Breach and take on a gatekeeper tasked by the Warden of the Shadow Steps. So you guys are gonna essentially journey over uh, to the Shadow Steps, meet with the with a Warden of the Sentinels who will task you with the gatekeeper that you must slay and prove your worth as Shadow Hunters. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Most creatures of shadow who come from the shadow's breach are often weakened by the new veil, becoming mindless abominations, though this does not make them any less vulnerable. Once defeated, you'll return the journey to Kulkirk with proof in hand and earn your full commission. A full commission means you'll be given missions from the Sentinels to continue to keep you to continue to keep the shadow at bay, whether investigating incidents observed by the Sentinel Cartographers Guild or otherwise. All right, big huge lore drop, but that's what I—that's uh, the lore I got for you guys. Um, Delightful. Was that Excellent. Ho hopefully that was enjoyable for you all. Uh, well, quick question, please. With us being level four yes is this pretty standard starting level for a sentinel uh like apprentice for the end of your apprenticeship absolutely your first gotcha. four levels was be uh reaching up to this point nice did it yeah. all have to take place here in asmodia uh your four levels no it did not fuck okay so we're new new to here uh, no. Oh, uh, you you can choose that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Is, is what I meant to say. So you. Well, can I just choose... wasn't sure if people were like barred from going here until they are ready for their right. you know task to kill a uh, gatekeeper. Or anyone can become an apprentice because yeah. <laughs> the sentinels desperately need shadow hunters to keep the devil threat at bay. Um. So anyone can become uh anyone can become uh, apprentice shadow hunters, but to earn the full commission, uh, you have to prove your worth and eventually. Uh, be tasked to slay the gatekeeper. So, um, to go back to you, Crown DM, you could you could have made it where it was all done here in Asmodia, or you could have been a seasoned veteran uh, warrior or capable adventurer that decided to look for more glory and then found your way to Asmodia, um, proved your worth, and took the the task. Your history is completely up to you, and I uh, I highly encourage you to write the story as you see fit whether you're a native Asmodian or you've come here from the other arcs, give me all of your background, all of your lore. I promise I won't use it against you r right, right, right away, right away. <clears throat> I was about to say, I was like, at not, all? Not during the first session, <laughs> not during the first session. <laughs> ah, That's a little you got me. Ah. All. You got me. See, season DM, he, he's onto my tricks. He's onto my I'm tricks. Gonna put NPCs in there for you to specifically <laughs> kill to make yeah. me sad. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, um, yeah, so you guys are obviously, you're free to have a background. It doesn't have to be here in Asmodia. You could literally have been a level four adventure that came here, moved up the ranks so quickly as an apprentice, and now you're going to earn your full commission. Some people will spend their adventuring lives as shadow uh, hunter apprentices, and that's their, just their entire background. Um, others look for a change of uh, occupation and wish to earn glory or riches. And hmm. being a shadow hunter, as dangerous as it is, is a great way to earn a healthy living. Uh, and once you're done, you know, while you're while you're doing this, your family's being taken care of, and then you get a nice retirement package uh, if you live to the years of elderhood. That's um, perfect. That's yeah. absolutely perfect. So there, there you go. The dream the dream uh, all right so ba, 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 ba. i'm taking a look at my notes which i will do very often because again <laughs> brain soft not mushy um <laughs> squishy yeah. squishy thank you squishy thank you so much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so now uh have you guys ever rolled a dice before in foundry i know a couple of you have. yes Ooh, in, di in yes. foundry no i'm no, a little not familiar in foundry. Mm -hmm. me no i can't uh, wait to edit the dice 
so when do we edit the dice so slash roll space 1d20 uh to do a roll right there uh if you guys would like to do a little little sample rolls you can just to make sure that you guys understand it perfect and now i clear I the law no. i won and now i clear the law <laughs> and the reason why i want to make sure that you are uh, aware of how to roll is because <clears throat> Io has some pretty rich history, as I'm sure viewers will know, and some of you who have been in Io will know. So, <clears throat> in the world of Io, the former gods, Div and Void, have long since been woven into the tapestry of history. While Div and Void's influences are but a dwindling story now, there are still a rare few attuned to their mights, the Radiant and the Void Touched you may still have that lingering influence. Ooh. So, listen, be sure to hear my, my, my directions directly before you make any rolls. Uh, everyone will be rolling a d20 when I say so. If you roll a 20, your character may be considered radiant or void touched. You do not have to accept this if you believe it won't fit your character. Uh, those who are radiant or void touched will have some cosmetic slash non-combat effects that we can work with and discuss to entwine into your character. A radiant and void touch have a different stat array they can choose from, specifically 16, 14, 13, 11, 10, and 8. So it, it uh, moves some things around, but it allows you to start with a, uh, a higher high stat, essentially. All right. At this time, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell each and every like each one of you individually to roll, and we'll start with Psych Naomi. We're gonna start with Naomi. <laughs> Bottom up. Let's fucking go. So Naomi, Ooh. please. Oh. oh! <laughs> Damn. 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 Close, but not close enough. All right, Crown DM, please roll. All right. Momo. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody. Good, right? Not even close. And Lobos. It's all up to me. Get it. No. All right. Ooh. So uh, none of you have been influenced by the old gods. So you're just neutral, ordinary humanoids, but that's Ugh. okay, because you will have your opportunity to uh, tell the tale that you want through your deeds and not your past. Okay. So, uh, yeah, with that, uh, that is all I wanted to show you guys today. Unless you had uh, any questions, we can go after that. We can go into when our first session We'll start. Do any of you have any questions or inquiries to me and that I'd be happy to answer uh, yes. more wise or otherwise? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Proceed. When do I get to customize my dice? When do you get to customize your dice? I don't know what that I don't know what that means. You tell me how to do it and I say freaking go for it. It's delightful. It's called Better Dice. It's a module for Foundry and lets me uh -huh. customize my dice, make it look real cool. Oh, I Did see. I see the one that makes cool. it like make them roll on the screen? Yeah, so um, <gasps> I do have Ooh. bad news. I don't do dice rolling uh, on my uh, on my show. I apologize. Understood. It just uh, just uh, it does it it prevent it provides a different style. Um, but uh, yeah, so I I don't have that. I'm sorry. It's all right. I understand. Yes. What are the questions? Do you have any other questions for me? I would like to not end it on a. No. <laughs> Question, Brett. Disappointment only. Yes, Naomi. How please. are you so cool? Oh, that's oh. the that's worst. That's the worst. But thank you very much. I appreciate you. Oh, I have another question. When does Momo get her blankie plus four? Well, yeah, uh, that's that that well, I I, I was think, I was thinking about taking away the blankie plus three. <gasps> Only, oh only so you can earn it again. So you can earn it again in a third phase. But please, please do this to me. instead, I will let you maintain your blankie and we will start to work to level up a pillow. So here's your mundane pillow that I hand to you. And then we will slowly enchant it over time. Was that, is that sufficient? 
Okay. Momo yeah, gets a plus some. four blanket when Momo gets to level 20. Is, let's go ahead and- That'll never happen. Wow. That but has she's a, never she's happened. She's literally a god. Oh no. Well, then, uh... I have never made it to level 20 in any campaign I've ever played, so. Well, I have made the terms. I, I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea what to tell you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So that means we're getting, we're going yeah. to level 20 in this campaign. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. We, we 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 go at a uh, we go at a chapter at a time, a season at a time. But there is always the the chance that there will be future seasons if you uh, if you guys are interested and you want to continue to tell the story of your characters. Yes. The, the option is on. <laughs> <laughs> the option is already. Oh, this game might suck. You don't know. <laughs> you don't I know. believe it will be good because I have great company and it it. it in the writing, I know will be good because I've played in it, and I like everybody, so it oh. doesn't matter. It's gonna be fun. Yay! So oh, nice. I'm blushing. I attack at, Momo. I I blush. Oh while this terrifying. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, Can you do I, that? Just, Can you I do that? I disengage. Do not provoke, and I run away. Oh my god! You both are just <laughs> the biggest nerds. I can't believe it. I can't. You oh, multi attack actually, with it. <laughs> I have Sentinel. <laughs> um, actually, I don't actually, care. Actually, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, our first session, you guys will be making uh, fourth level characters. Um, you will definitely during this campaign get to fifth level, which is gonna be super poggers, um, and potentially dip into sixth level. <laughs> depending on what's going on near the end. Mm. Maybe, maybe. I make no promises. Fifth and level, I, absolutely. Sixth level, maybe. I accept your promise. Thank you. <laughs> it means a lot. Yes, Lobos. Can I uh, trick a demon god to fall off a cliff and get, like, seven levels? I mean, you could Ooh. you could attempt that, but I do run the <laughs> milestone, uh, and your milestone is linked with all the other campaigns, which is why you're starting at fourth level. So once uh, you guys get to fifth level, that means everyone is eligible to get to fifth level. Um, uh, TLDR, have... nopers. Hmm. Okay, a follow-up question. Good. Can I trick a demon god to <laughs> fall in love with me? Trick. A yes. demon god who is falling in love with her to fall in love with me as well. Uh, While all, all off of the cliff. Yes, all, that's, all, that would be my question. What if we combine those two? All, 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 uh, all very possible um, for the most part. Uh, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> this is so stupid. I have rules for <laughs> NPC romance. The rules Life is home. the NPCs will, will never romance you, but that doesn't stop you from romancing them. And they might be like, <laughs> oh my. Oh. So, I mean, oh it's def definitely there. Uh, wow, I've, I've is a always double played dummy hard thick. to get. Uh, yeah, uh, are, there, are there any concerns with uh, maybe copulating with uh, oh NPCs boy. that are, you know, Void touched or you know any worse. like any concerns? No, no. Con no. Yes, like medical concerns. No, or no. Such. No, nope, I nope, am a doctor, nope, so nope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have that covered. No worries. Perfect. Crown DMs holding like in like a manga, Perfect. like I am a doctor, and then just holds up the doctor. <laughs> Um, for, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever said this uh, publicly, but I don't mind saying that. Um, all the characters that I write are uh, <clears throat> pansexual, so you are free to romance whoever you want. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, everyone loves everyone in IO and all the, the worlds I oh, create. Baby. So. I love this Hog. place. I never want to leave. I love this place. <laughs> Looks up at the shadowy sky. <laughs> I would like to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is. Yeah, so it's uh, that's that's uh, that's how it's always been. So, but I, I haven't set it up at this point because no one's really asked. Can I romance the demon lord? Now uh, I twice. understand the inn's name. Yeah. Now I get it. Now I get it. Wow. Wow. Gasping gassed. Oh my. So uh, oh my. Yes. Um, yes. But yeah, so uh, any other questions for you guys before we reveal the start date to our chat? <sighs> what's the what's the I'm huff? Is excited. That a excited. That was excited. excited. Like yeah. okay, all right, all right. <laughs> like, I'd like to ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask the rest of the party. <laughs> are yes. you guys doing voices for your characters? 
Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. I like this. Please don't be annoyed with me. I promise. I I promise. I I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Momo, I have invited you to a second campaign, so clearly you are not annoying. Because <laughs> if you were, oh, you wouldn't boy. have gotten the invite. <laughs> well, I've been playing in the last campaign. I'll be invited to. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a challenge, Momo. I wasn't trying to challenge you. Oh, I laughed and I got lightheaded. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. um, all right. Well, our first session will be August 31st at the same time, 8 p.m. EST. We plan on doing about a, a six to ten session campaign, um, depending on what you guys can do. Uh, as I've told you guys uh, uh, offline, I'll say here, because I know we've got a lot of new people here to the IO campaign setting. Uh, the tools that you are proficient in give you the ability to craft. So if you got smithing tools, you can work with weapons and armor. If you got tinker tools, you can make uh, you can make little little pets. You can make little turrets. You can oh, tinker with weapons and such. Oh, uh, you you fiend. Yes, yes. Uh, you can uh, <laughs> alchemy to make potions. Uh, there is car. I think there is. I think it's called scribing tools. I think someone else would know that. Allows you to make magical tattoos. So there is. <gasps> yes, there is. It's the fishing. There is uh, fishing. <laughs> there is fishing. Yes. There is fishing. That seems to be the selling point to any new player. I go. They're like, okay, so tell me more about this. I go, there is fishing. They're like, say no more. I, I no, but like you don't understand the obsession of, of Lobos with fishing. I so. understand the obsession because everyone uh, has that okay. obsession with I mean, fishing. Okay, but you don't though. No. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, he just likes fishing a lot? And then he just watches Lobos put on his hat. Slay demons, catch fish, puts on a hat. <laughs> this is perfect. Devil spear me, she fish She slays spear them me. with the fish. Yes. Yes. Slaps yeah. them around. So I, I've already told, uh, I've told some members of chat this in my, my non-D&D stream, uh, but I am working on an angler class, a actual- Oh my God. Fisher class. That oh is God. a melee fighter uh, that works with a uh, bunch of mechanics involved with reach because you literally transform your weapons into fishing rods. So you'll be <laughs> like, all right, this short sword now has 10 feet re reach and you can catch enemies and move them around the battlefield. It's a, uh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun, but uh, it's, yeah. you, you won't be able to play it this time. But yes, there is uh, plenty of fishing opportunity, needless you to heard say. heard this time there's a promise for more. Yes. Plenty, mm -hmm. plenty of fishing. And as you see there, even though we are in the ruins of Asmodia, uh, plenty of water sources as well. So yes. feel free to, <laughs> to, to fish to your heart's content, uh, but just don't do it for 10 sessions because it's going to be really <laughs> awkward when I go, and our time is up. And you go, what? <laughs> well, I caught a bunch of fish. So. <laughs> caught a I'm bunch hard. of fish. Who's the world's, winner you're here? World's <laughs> I trade up. All the fish to the demon king to leave. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I fish? heard he's a big fan of fish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, you fish? And then he pulls out his fishing <laughs> hat. Oh my gosh, and then zooms out. And we're both fishing in our hat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even need to do the campaign oh. anymore. We already got the ending. There well, it is. It was fun, guys. Like, was that's the good ending. <laughs> that's the good ending. The okay, secret the good ending. <laughs> All right. Well, that's well, uh, that's all I got for you. So good, good, good campaign, y'all. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I hope you guys are as excited as I am. It sounds like you are. It's gonna be a a great fucking time. Um, just uh, same thing I, I said offline. Uh, feel free to give me all of your arts when they're done. We've got a resident artist, uh, bird. Probably, I think I saw him in chat at one point. Who'll make lovely Discord reaction images for you guys that are gonna be really freaking phenomenal uh and uh oh, there's bird and yeah so it'll be a uh it'll be a good it'll be a good time uh august 31st 8 p.m est every uh every wednesday at 8 p.m est and this will uh i'm excited because i didn't we didn't get to really explore asmodia uh in phase two too much so i'm really I'm really excited to see what this is all about. I'm I'm going on the journey with you guys, so it'll be. Oh yeah! Uh, yeah. Yes. I'm so excited! 
Brandon. I mean, uh, <laughs> August twenty fourth. I can't wait. Fantastic. Not twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me. Don't, don't say that. Don't say. Someone in chat is going to take that verbatim oh, and be fine. like, "Aren't we August doing 24th. this?" No. But you said it. I heard it on the stream. <laughs> but it said August twenty fourth, starting at level five. Said it. Five. So said. August twenty fourth. Awesome. Fishing oh, campaign. To Twenty <laughs> sessions. Fifth level. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Don't clip it. All right. Thanks, guys. That's uh, that's all I got for you today. So we'll. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yes. Let, let me uh, check. Let me just check one. Let me just check one thing. Because sometimes it do be happening. Uh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh. Well, I've got good news for you. We apparently have fan art for today's session. Before. Yeah! <laughs> I have to check. I have to check because there's always like one. So yes, there is fan art. I'm gonna oh go. God. I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen. It's one piece, but it's a uh, it's a it's a winner. So let me uh, one piece of fan art. Allow. I I I think I got the shared screen right. Yes. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Where are you sharing? Huh? Where are you sharing? Oh. Uh, oh, on Discord. Do, do you uh, and this is what uh, uh, at the end of every session we do uh, a bingo card uh, chat fills out bingo squares to try and predict what may have happened that session uh, and we also go through our fan art at the end of the session as well which is very good um, everyone sharing yes sharing is caring uh, let me see here I think this is the one there it is okay uh, so it's it's a lovely piece it's just uh this is it. This is your characters fighting off against a devil. There's Naomi's Perfect. character leading the charge. Oh, I like the detective outfits, like yeah. mysterious. Who knows what we are? You guys Damn. Are... Hell yeah. I, um, there's uh... actually three of me in the in the check. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> She's not nearly that tall. Of each other. That's uh well, that's all I got for you today at the fan art. So <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. That's amazing that yeah. there's already stuff. It <laughs> oh, it cracked me up. Holy shit. All right, guys. Uh, feel, free to, <laughs> feel free to message me if you have any questions, but this was a delight. Uh, very excited to be DMing you all, and we'll be here August 31st, 21st. 8 p.m. EST. No. If, you come, if you come here August 24th, you're going to be by yourself. Rattling the people. door. <laughs> you and chat. Just, yeah. well, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did the fishing contest is about to start. Hmm? What's that, The Momo? fishing contest. I think I showed up early. <laughs> am I, I'm already here. Am I early? <laughs> <laughs> Not August 17th. All right, guys. I'm going to leave the chat. You guys have a good one, okay? But yeah. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you. Bye.